Hi everybody. One of the most important things we can do is to have a relationship with the Most High Creator God, the one whom He sent, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer. One of the best ways to improve our relationship is by reading the Holy Bible. Anywhere that uh, Jesus is speaking in the Bible is the Word of God. Jesus was the Word of God and His words are the absolute Word of God. But even I feel above that in developing relationship we need to earnestly seek the Father in prayer. We need to sit at His feet, seeking guidance and direction for our life. When we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, to the Father, we can go into his secret place. We can find ourselves there. And I like to read a scripture, Psalms 91, which the whole psalm is excellent. But I'm going to read Psalm 91, verse 1 and 7. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In verse 7, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So, we receive protection. Absolute protection. We are able to come into the secret place of the Most High. Even though calamities will be happening, chaos will be abounding all throughout the earth. And like it, just like it says, literally, 1,000 will fall on one side, 10,000 will fall on the other, and to us it will not come near. It will not come nigh. I believe that. So, for myself and I believe for everyone, we need to really seek to have close relationship with the Father and the Son. We need to ask Jesus to come into our hearts. We haven't done so yet. Ask Him to dwell in our heart. And He will. He's waiting. He's waiting for you to ask. Something else I want to discuss today was the recent phenomenon of 420. You know every day Wednesday at 420 when people get together smoke a marijuana joint. 420. And then recently on the day 420 there's a big demonstration in front of the Parliament buildings in Ottawa, Canada here, and probably many other places in the world where the people are smoking and getting high and then they're discussing about whether they should legalize marijuana. Well, it's illegal, but they're standing openly in front. Because it's 420, it's okay. They can smoke it and get high in front of the Parliament buildings. And when these people are celebrating this 420, they're completely oblivious. April 20th, 420, it was actually Hitler's birthday. It's a huge, huge occult day. And people thinking it's just, oh, it's innocuous, it's 420, this is great. We should all get high and get rid of our worries and our cares and peace and love and all this stuff. Well, it's not what it's symbolizing. When you're actually getting high on 420, you're celebrating Hitler's birthday. As many people did, it was a national holiday in Germany during World War II. 
when Hitler was in power. April 20th was celebrated as a national holiday. And in 1946, the League of Nations dissolved, giving most of its power to the United Nations. This occurred on April 20th, 1946, on Hitler's birthday. Now the United Nations is controlling the world, basically, going into countries and performing their agenda in the guise of peace and security. Yet it really is part of the mark of the beast agenda. 1961, the U.S.-backed Cuban exiles failed to overthrow the Cuban government at the Bay of Pigs. Attempted coup on April 20th, 1961. Also on April 20th, 1978, Korean Air Flight 902 shot down by the Soviet Union. Many people lost their lives. 1999 on 420, April 20th, Columbine High School massacre. 15 people dead, 24 injured, including the two who killed themselves, committed new suicide after they shot everyone. 2007, Johnson Space Center shooting, a man with a handgun, barricades himself in NASA Space Center in Houston, Texas, killing himself and his hostage. 2010, Deepwater Horizon explodes in the Gulf of Mexico, killing 12 people. An oil spill that lasted a horrific six months, and we're still paying the price of the environmental consequences to this day. This also happened, coincidentally, on April 20th. This year, 2012, volcanoes erupted in Alaska and in Mexico. In Mexico, the top of the volcano glo was glowing red, shooting fireballs. On this day, on April 20th, 2012, there was a truck trailer decoupled and crashed into a bus in Mexico. 43 people were killed out of 70, and 17 more were seriously injured on Curva del Diablo, or the Devil's Curve. Also on the same day in Mexico, passenger bus and truck collided, injuring 36 and killing one person. In Pakistan, a plane crashed, killing 127 people. Also on that same day, massive protest in Egypt, attempting to overthrow the government. All of this on April 20th, 2012, and all these events on April 20th. Coincidence? False flags? Well, it is an occult day, it is Hitler's birthday. So, there's a scripture that I'd like to read regarding this. And that's, it's at 1 Peter 5 and 8. So 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So we need to be sober through all these things that are happening. Not high on marijuana, drugs, alcohol, on anything. We need to be sober. So, when you're smoking your marijuana and celebrating Hitler's birthday, think about it. Chaos is going to be happening soon. We need to be sober and vigilant. Don't get caught up in these things. Another way we can get caught up is what I call entertainment. The entertainment industry, which is movies, TV, sitcoms, crime dramas, CSI, reality TV, commercials and advertising, all designed to put you in an alpha state. The snooze, which is the fake news, the news that's going around on radio, television, that is not really telling you the truth, but only portraying what they want to tell. It's all controlled. The message is getting out that they want to get out. So many of the things in the real news are not 
brought forward during the news. Also, the music industry and all the music being put out uh, to distract us. All of the uh, sporting events, organized sports, professional sports, team sports, singular sports, the uh, UFC, boxing, involving a lot of violence, football and hockey, a lot of violence, singular sports, motocross, X Games, all these things, thrill sports, all designed to keep us distracted. Movies from Hollyweird with their own agenda, sometimes the alien agenda lately, which is uh, setting us up for the false flag alien invasion. People, this enter containment is distracting us from what we should be doing. We should be seeking God with all our heart, and loving Him with all our heart, mind, body, and soul, and not being distracted by these things that don't even matter. And I was one that was guilty of this myself. To be watching hockey or football, and things aren't going well for my team, and the referee's calling it the other way, and all these things are fixed anyway and I'd be all upset yelling at the TV and swearing and getting all caught up in this. It's exactly what Satan wants. He wants all of us to be caught up in this, not paying attention to what we should be doing. So, God has been taking this away from me and I pray that He does take it away from me completely. I don't want to be involved in any of this entertainment. I got rid of my TV. I cancel my cable. All I have is the internet now. And that's enough. We don't want to be sucked into that alpha state, mass hypnosis by our TVs. Very suggestible and completely in the wrong state. In the state of mind that we should not be in. We should be awake and aware of what's really happening in the world. I have a scripture here. John 17. 14 to 16. It reads, I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou should keepest them from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Of course, that's Jesus speaking. And we are to be not of the world, just as he is not of the world. His true disciples are not of this world. We don't participate in all of this entertainment stuff. We don't watch these movies. They was saying they contain violence, sexual immorality. Oftentimes, they're promoting their agenda. Sometimes they're putting symbols in the background and putting phrases in that they want put in to promote Satan's agenda. So, we're not to participate in this, these kinds of things. We're not to be of the world, part of the world. We're in the world, but we're not to be of the world. For we are, are children of God. And if we're truly children of God, we have to be aware that this spiritual war is happening all around us. And it is a war. It is for our very souls. Our lives are in the balance, people. We're in a spiritual war. Angels battled in the heavens. War broke out in heaven. Satan and his angels, Lucifer, battled. And his angels against Michael and his angels. And Lucifer and his angels did not prevail. And they were cast down out of heaven to the vicinity of earth. And they're here now and they're active 24-7 against us. The spiritual war is over our souls all the people on earth and all the true ones the ones that would help other people to see what is really happening in the world don't be affected by the demons they're all around us I have a scripture here it's 1 Timothy 4 and 1 1 Timothy 1 Timothy 4 and 1 says now the spirit seeketh expressly 
that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. In verse 2, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. We don't want our conscience seared with a hot, hot iron, people. We don't want ourselves to be hypocrites and fall into sin. We want to be aware that Satan is seeking to devour us. There's another scripture here, Ephesians 6, and verse 11 and 12. Ephesians 6, 11 and 12. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It's not against the worldly things, but we have to avoid them, being part of this world. The real war that is happening is against these demons and these demonic entities that are coming against us full force right now. They're tempting us. They're bringing things before us. They're trying to get us to fall into sin. We're in the spiritual war, people. And it's for our lives. We have to do everything we can to be vigilant. To stay true. To stay holy and unblemished before God. Things are going to crank up now, majorly. And we need to be close to God. We need to have a relationship with God. We need to do our best at all times and to stay on the narrow path that leads to everlasting life. For broad is the way to destruction. I'll talk to you soon. And maybe you all be blessed by the Most High Creator God who loves you and really wants you to have eternal life.